in it a little bit. For more, I want to welcome in the president of the American Principles Project, Terry Schilling, along with editor-in-chief at the National Memo, Joe Connison. Gentlemen, good morning. Great having you on. You know we appreciate your input. So let's get right into it. Terry, did Kamala say anything of value in her interview other than that her values haven't changed? Uh, well, thanks so much for having me. I think that, uh, you know, if Kamala's job was to be very boring and not give any red flags or give people pause for concern about her being president, I think she accomplished the job. But at the end of the day, uh, she's trying to pretend like she wasn't a part of this last four years. Uh, she's only taking credit for the good things. It's going to be four more years of the same, if not worse, and bat worse results uh, that we've seen uh, over the last three and a half years. Uh, I don't think voters should have anything, uh, any reason to expect anything different from Kamala Harris, maybe a little bit worse. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we shouldn't expect more. This is the same administration that spent seven and a half billion dollars to construct only seven electric vehicle charging stations. I, I, they're not going to accomplish anything. Joe, what's your response to that? Well, I think the economic record is a lot better than Terry gives credit for in terms of unemployment, growth. The Wall Street Journal said the U.S. economy is the envy of the world on its front page, owned by Rupert Murdoch, no friend of the Democratic Party. So, you know, I think there's plenty of evidence on the other side as far as that's concerned. What interested me more was that she's pretty forthright on issues uh, in a way that Trump is not. For instance, uh, she's very clear on IVF and on uh, abortion rights where yesterday we saw Trump actually take like three different positions in one day on these issues that are of great, great concern to especially American women, but all Americans. So I think, uh, you know, she's forging ahead in her campaign. As Terry said, I think she didn't step wrong, particularly on, in that interview. And uh, meanwhile, she's catching up in the polls or surpassing Trump, which mm -hmm. ought to uh, be of concern, I would say, <laughs> Terry. to all of his big fans. Terry. Yeah, I, I just want to say, uh, you know, on the abortion front, yeah, you know what, you, uh, Kamala is very clear on where she stands on abortion. She supports zero protections for unborn children all the way up until birth. She wants taxpayers to fund no, it. No, she doesn't she care. She's very clear that she doesn't care about where the American people stand on it. Why Donald Trump is struggling is because he wants to do what the American people want to do on, on abortion, which is a very tricky thing, Joe. Why you have to go to protect the babies in the a... late terms. That's where the American why, people why are. Why does Listen, have a principal Kamala position. doesn't care about the unborn. She doesn't care about the unborn. She doesn't care about where well, the American people this, are. This, More importantly, Donald this, Trump does. This, this myth, ahead, Joe. No, Donald Trump says that people execute babies after they're born. Yeah. Uh, and and what yeah, state does that happen? They do. No, no, I have it's to defend called, Joe. Well, I really have to defend what? Joe on the, that one. The, the Virginia oh, governor people, did come out and say people, that. Yeah, oh, regardless, people are not well, people please. are not aborting children in the third trimester. No, when they get out of the womb. They're just not but doing that. Act, they accidentally come out of the womb all the way. So what do you do when a baby's sitting on the table? The what? Democrats would have that baby oh starve of food and attention and I, die. I, Regardless, I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to go down There's the rabbit hole of just stories. abortion. No. I do want to but, widen this well, a little that's bit. That's big news, think, isn't it, Michael? I mean, the, we, that the president, the former president, could not come up with a position that made it. And yesterday, then Terry, ban it. I don't if know it if doesn't you happen, that, then ban it. Okay, yes, but hold on a second. Hold on. Let's move on, gentlemen. Hold on. Move on. Hold on. I got the con. I got the con. He I would got the pay con. for IVF. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, guess for I don't have the con. Let me ask you this: um, You're talking about changing your position. Hasn't she changed her position now on fracking? Now she says she wants to build a wall. I mean, these are pretty big deals. What say you on that, Joe? She seems like she and she hasn't given any reason. She just said my values haven't changed, but accepting actually, fracking something actually, she said she would never be for, and building did, a wall. Now she's well, Donald Michael, Trump. Well, Michael, actually, you know what? She did give a reason to change her position on fracking in the interview. She said, I learned that we could have a clean energy economy without banning fracking as vice president in, in passing the Inflation Reduction Act and pursuing uh, climate change measures. I found out we didn't have to do what I thought we had to do before. I was pretty sure like, the Inflation go, Reduction go Act back, bans, go, fr bans fracking. Go, go back to the transcript. No. OK, uh, it does. Go ahead, uh, Terry. <laughs> There's a lot of fracking Look, going it, on. It's very clear who supports fracking and who doesn't. She's obviously changing her position on this, just like she's changed on the border wall. We're seeing Venezuelan gangs now take over but, towns but in just, Colorado. Just, right? It's gotten out of control. She's changing her positions because she's wrong on these important issues that voters care about, especially you, voters in Pennsylvania. Just, they care about this, and they know where she stands, and now she's moderating. Joe, didn't you Joe just 10 say seconds, okay wrap it up. Trump? 
you just said it's okay for Trump to change his position back and forth on yeah, abortion. Yeah. All right. So, so yeah, she can also change her position as, as she learns something. All right. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. There we go. Take control, <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Uh, very Appreciate robust it. discussion. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank see you. <laughs> All right. Terry Schilling, Joe Connison, thank you.